You know, a lot of people are unhappy with today's politicians, and some have even wondered if in the future artificial intelligence could actually do a better job of running our cities. Well, today, I'm going to put that to the test, because I've assembled a team of 15 different AI mayors who are going to instruct me how to build a brand new city in City Skylines 2. Each AI mayor is going to get five minutes to develop the city however they see fit, and after 10 mayors have served, we'll bring in my friend Parkshire, who's going to see how their city compares to the one that Twitch chat built. So let's kick this off by electing the frat bro AI as the mayor. Good luck, Mr. Mayor. And of course, a big thank you to Paradox Interactive for sponsoring this video. All right, Mr. Mayor, welcome to the job. We've got a blank canvas for this city, a big open patch of grass and one river running through the middle. What would you like to do to kick this off? Yo, thanks, dude. Yo! So, first thing first, let's put like a massive statue of my buddy Chad right in the center. <laughs> that dude uh, knows how to party. Okay, I can do that. Also, let's ditch that river and replace it with a giant slip and slide for <laughs> citywide slide parties. We don't need to replace the... That's fine. Yes, sir! Okay, I'll make a statue, I guess. This is apparently a statue of Chad. <laughs> this is uh, Chad playing basketball. <laughs> and then I need to get rid of the river. I don't even know how to do that. Can I just fill it? Oh god, that's too much. Wait, no, this is way too- Oh, <laughs> shit. I don't know how else to get rid of the river. I, this technically gets rid of it. I don't want to slip and slide on that. It'll be fun. You're gonna be fine. How do I put water in it? Uh, water park? <laughs> I guess that is the easiest way to do it. On top of the pillars. I mean, okay. I need to level it. Hold on. Uh, beautiful. Now the water park is up here. Do I need to put a road to it or not? I guess I'll ask him. Okay, Mr. Mayor, the statue's up. The water park slip and slides up. Do you want me to connect the slip and slide to the rest of the city or no? Also, what do I do next? I don't even know. How would I even uh, connect? Man, who cares about connections? If they want to party, they'll find a way. <laughs> I don't know if they will, man. But let's replace all regular roads with beer-filled canals. Because my bro Kyle says light's we, a river. We have Just one gotta road. Just go with the flow, dude. And build some medieval castles for epic frat castle parties. Do we have no roads. I only have another minute. Hold on. Let me get the uh, the castle in first. Okay. Perfect. I know he said castles. They only let me build one. How do I replace the roads with canals? Hold on. I could make a canal from the river that I ruined for the slip and slide. We're going to make a canal from the river so that it builds the moat that frat mayor wants. And there we go. And with that, frat bros time as mayor has come to an end. And like with any good democracy, we will now have Twitch chat vote to reelect him. And if he gets 80% of the vote, then he gets to serve another term. All right. Mayor Frat Bro, it's been an honor. Do you have any final words for your, the citizens of this fine city before I take you out back and unelect you? Dude, just remember, in Artificialville, the party never stops. Don't forget the golden rule. If you're not partying, you're doing it wrong. Now who's up for some beer pong? Godspeed, Mayor Frat Bro. And that means that it's time to elect a new mayor. And like with any good democracy, we will decide this by spinning a wheel. Our next mayor is... Conspiracy theorist. There's not enough stuff for him to have conspiracies about, I don't think. <laughs> Welcome to the office, Mr. Mayor Conspiracy Theorist. So far, our beautiful city has a medieval castle, a statue of some guy named Chad. There's a water park up on the hills and a canal running through the center of the city. Otherwise, there's not much here. What do you want to do? Blast that statue of Chad right away. It's a beacon for the aliens. <laughs> I don't think Replace so. Replace it with a scorched crater. They love smooth structures, not damaged ones. Okay. Once I watched an alien run sitcom, their last tracks were triggered by damaged artifacts none of that makes sense okay we're uh goodbye chad statue sorry everybody okay and he wants a scorched crater okay i'll just kind of make this here oh my god is there a way to scorch it more leave it <laughs> i just um all right mr mayor all taken care of i got that crater for you what next i liked the statue of chad. we need aerial defense <laughs> build an airport and turn all planes into anti-alien attack fighters okay and cover the water park with a lead roof it'll protect from their mind probing rays <laughs> they probed okay. me once while i was swimming uh -huh. i thought it was just water in my ears it probably was sir dude the normal airport is so Oh, big. Okay. Hey, Mayor, can I build some power plants in order to actually power the airport? No. No okay. power plants. They're energy magnets for the aliens. Turn all our phones into what am I power generators instead. Okay, well instead. then we're just not going to have a functioning Last airport. Last week, an alien tried to call me. Good thing I threw my phone into the river. And I cover the water park. I could cover it with, like, roads, I guess? He did say cover it with lead. <laughs> okay, I'll just put roads over it. Is anybody living in the town? How many people? Do we? we have zero people. 
Okay, perfect. All right, Mr. Mayor, the water park is safe now. I just as a reminder, nobody is living in the town currently because we don't have any houses. But what would you like me to do next? Build houses, but inside the hill. We'll blend in with the nature. No. <laughs> okay. Aliens hate dirt. At least that's why I gathered after finding a strange rock in my backyard. Okay. <laughs> okay, more hills, and then I'll build this road through it. So now we'll live in the... <laughs> <laughs> now we'll live in the hills, and then I guess I'll make the houses over here. Oh boy, I'm so excited to move into this super large city. I hear there's even a water park. <laughs> Okay, we're kind of living in the hills now. That's the end of the term for conspiracy theorist mayor. Do you want to reelect? Do you love this man's policies? The only argument for reelecting him, I would say, is that then he would finally have time to cover the airport in roads. <laughs> Generally, airports having roofs really increases the security. Okay, unfortunately, conspiracy theorist is booted out of the office. Mr. Mayor, you did a great job. Unfortunately, you were not reelected. Any final words for the citizens? Keep your eyes above. The mothership is coming. They'll abduct you just as they attempted with me last night. It was just the moon, but I know better. Thank you. Very cool. Spends his last moment sending a warning to, to all the viewers. Our next mayor. Please welcome... Romantic. I did tell the romantic to be as explicit as possible about what kind of romance they want in the town. So we'll see what happens. Welcome to the office, Mr. Mayor. What would you like to do? Ah, oh, my dear friend, our quest begins by focusing on the medieval castle, Make a, a bastion of chivalric romance. Let's convert the crater into a heart-shaped lake with swan boats for our inhabitants to embark on amorous adventures, okay. just like Tristan and soul did. Who? Is that a person? <laughs> hey, Doug, can we milk the mayor? No. Okay, I'm gonna turn this into a heart. It looks like an apple. You made it look like an ass. No, it looks like a heart. I don't think there's a way to add swan boats. Although there are boats, right? Okay, Miss Mayor, the uh, heart-shaped canal is good to go. It's filling up with water, so I'll put the boats in there later. What do you want me to do in the meantime? Darling, let's make the airport a genuine lover's paradise. Install mood lights, fragrant flower gardens, okay. and play love ballads on the public announcements so every arrival is akin to that poignant scene when Casanova finally met his Francesca after years of long. Are these real? Hold on, are these? real references who the fuck is casanova and francesca she wants parks and stuff okay what do we do for mood lighting traffic lights really set the mood <laughs> okay Okay, Miss Mayor, the airport is romanticized, like you asked. What do you want me to do next? As a reminder, there is no electricity for the airport or anywhere. I hope that she thinks that electricity is romantic. I think that, would, that could be really good for us. Without delay, let's erect a power plant that runs on the sheer energy of love letters. No, okay, we don't. Rings of amorous prose, fueled by hearts of flame, okay. will light up our city and our airport, mimicking the electric connection between Romeo and Juliet. So like coal? Like a coal power plant. <laughs> Gas? Gas, gas is pretty romantic. Maybe nuclear? Okay, a lot of people saying nuclear. Oh my god. <laughs> Fossil fuels are my love language. <laughs> All right, great job, Mayor. Let's see if you get reelected. Hey, Doug, can you ask the Mayor if she's free to go on a date with a cute girl to the romantic airport after her term? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I'll mention it. Well, she had a good run, but unfortunately was not reelected. Miss Mayor, the citizens have voted to unelect you. Any final words for the people of this city? Also, one of the citizens asked you out on a romantic airport date. Oh, how tragic. Yet, the dance of love sometimes puts us on our toes. Uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> to my dear city, remember that love is your guiding light, and to my inner citizen, I shall see you under the twinkling airport lights for an evening of passion reminiscent of Cleopatra and it's Mark Antony's clandestine escapades. It's just a traffic light. <laughs> Congratulations to that chatter. <clears throat> Welcome to the office. PETA activist, who's probably gonna love the nuclear power plant. Why are you saying veto? You can't veto the mayor. This, this is not your city. Call for impeachment. Okay, if we're two and a half minutes in and you guys don't like the PETA mayor, you can call for an impeachment. Otherwise, she gets to fulfill her term. Welcome, Miss Mayor. The previous mayors have done a great job. We have a water park on a mountain. We have a medieval castle. We have a big heart-shaped crater. We've got a nuclear power plant and a very romantic airport. What would you like to do to the city? Oh, heavens, an airport? That's just a device for human travel. <laughs> Tear it down immediately and replace it no. with a giant bird bath to pamper our feathered friends. Don't need more water, man. And abandon the nuclear power plant. <laughs> Instead, set up a mass production unit of hamster wheel generators. <laughs> That's not a thing. We must think of the animals. That's not even helpful for animals. Okay, we're getting rid of the airport. Sorry, I hope that whoever's on their date right now doesn't get cock blocked. We also have to get rid of the... This is the only source of electricity. 
She still has two more minutes before you can impede her. I need to set up hamster wheels. I guess that's wind turbines. <laughs> this is still a lot of power, okay? Okay, Ms. Mayor, the hamster wheels are set up. There's a lot of people who still need sewage and water, by the way, and an airport. Tut tut, humans and their needs. Instead of sewage systems, let's have compost pits every few blocks How does that to invite help? all those happy earthworms. Oh, okay. And for water systems, convert the city center into a large watering hole, beloved it, by frolicking deer and bison alike. It already is that. I guess I'll add parks to it. She just wants landfills everywhere. The people have demanded an impeachment vote. You need 80% to impeach. Miss Mayor, the citizens are furious with you dismantling the Romance Airport. They are calling for an impeachment vote. Anything you want to say to them to maybe convince them to keep you on board? Dismantle the city hall and build an enormous kitten play center right there. No, 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 it's Advise not. Advise citizens that humans are the problem, not the deer animals. We don't even And remind have... everyone each vote for me is in fact a vote for untamed animal kingdom bliss. A strong pitch there. Keep in mind all of the earthworms that are living it's <laughs> a 90% impeachment. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, Miss Mayor, but the votes are in. It looks like you're out of the office. Any final words? Keep nurturing the animals like they're your children, artificial bill. My dream of a squirrel-operated post service may not come <laughs> true, but don't let wildlife be suppressed by human desires. Farewell, and remember, all animals, big and small, are friends, not foes. Uh, congratulations, we've officially booted out PETA Mayor. Okay, but that means we're on to a new mayor. Next up is government spy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the office, Mr. Mayor. You come in at a bit of a hard time. We don't have power, water, sewage, electricity, but we do have a giant lake that's shaped like a heart. We've got a medieval castle, few houses that are inside of a mountain, the remains of an airport, and a bunch of hamster windmills. What would you like to do? Listen up, Supervisor. We're swimming in enemy waters courtesy of the notorious North Katzenstein spies. Okay. First, build a surveillance network dense as a jungle. Second, convert the heart-shaped lake no. into a giant. A loadout volcano for our secret base. No! And third, rig every hamster windmill with infrared cameras. Okay. <laughs> he wants surveillance. I guess I'll do radio towers and telecom towers and satellite uplinks. Oh, I can only build one of them. Oh, no, I can build multiple of these. Okay. We'll put some of the, the satellite towers in the Heart Lake. Doug, this is a chief fifth police stop. We discovered the former mayor and a citizen doing a filthy display of public indency in the middle of an intersection near the airport. <laughs> okay. What the hell am I supposed to tell the press? Just talk to the mayor about it. You know, I thoroughly disagreed with her policies, but the squirrel operated post office sounds like a pretty good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Convert the heart shaped lake into a giant hollowed out volcano. Okay, I have an idea. What I'll do is. It's so hard to control this. Okay, I have turned it into a volcano. Doug, my hamster was forced to work at the windmills. Help. <laughs> okay, hold on. I'm supposed to do something to the windmills. Rig every hamster windmill with infrared cameras. I don't know what that means. I'll just put a server farm next to them. That's the best I can do. Okay, Mr. Mayor, I have built an extensive surveillance network. As a reminder, there's no electricity or sewage or running water for anything in the city right now. What do you want to do next? Ah, uh, yes. Power and uh, amenities. Uh -huh. Our swine land agents love those. Convert that castle to an energy producing fortress yeah. with a sewage mold that can be, um, weaponized if needed. And finally, install tap water faucets that alert us whenever someone drinks, like, more than 10 <laughs> glasses a day. What is the point of that? What does he want? Remove the castle with a sewage moat. <laughs> <laughs> we don't even have people to... This was the one guy in our town, and he's leaving now because there's no castle. Hello, Mr. Supervisor. I don't want to alarm you, but while I was drinking my glass of water, some crazy old man started yelling at me for going beyond the city's 10 glass limit. <laughs> he resembled the mayor, but surely he wouldn't go around enforcing something so absurd. No, of course not. This should start pooping. Oh, God. What was the point of this again? <laughs> Whatever. Guys, I honestly don't know if Parkshire will prefer your city or this one. This is a piece of shit. <laughs> Were people at least living in the city? We have four! Hold on, hold on. Before you talk shit about government spy, we now have four people. Okay, so this building has four people. At least we can surveillance them. Okay, all right. Do you want to reelect the government spy? Well, Mr. Mayor, it looks like the people have voted not to reelect you. Any final words to the citizens? Trust no one. Artificial villains, North Katzenstein, North Swineland, they're everywhere. Stay vigilant, stay hydrated, but not overly hydrated. The four people are definitely undercover agents working as part of the surveillance network. <laughs> All right, next mayor. 
Ooh, a scientist. This could actually get us back on track. Actual smart, intelligent mayor here. My hamster cannot take the work at the windmills anymore. He got <laughs> drunk and is now banging at my door. Please help me, Doug. I'm scared. This new mayor is going to clean up the hamster abuse problem. Welcome to the office, Mr. Scientist, sir. Currently, our city has no electricity or water, but we do have sewage that's being sent into a moat. We're dealing with a volcano, two people living in a house off in the hills. We got a water park and we've got a bunch of hamster run windmills. What should we do? Fascinating. We must first apply the thermodynamic laws set forth by the famed Dr. Levitsky, what? essentially a decentralized net positive energy model. What? Synthesize an intricate system of aqueducts mirroring the arterial and venous circulatory <laughs> system of the human body to effectively distribute water. Problem with a smart mayor is we have a dumb blonde executing all of his commands. It's not my fault. I've done a good job. Ah, a conundrum indeed. Then, employing the principles of piezoelectricity, transmogrify the kinetic energy energy generated by the hamster run windmills into electric power That's what already and utilizing the principles of osmotic power generation convert the potential energy in the moat sewage gradient into a more refined energy source what is the sewage gradient um he's so dumb <laughs> none of you get what's happening a dam oh a dam a dam he wants a dam for the sewage but there isn't a sh enough sewage to even make a dam doug it's not rocket surgery all right chat you want to reelect <laughs> Well, Mr. Scientist, sir, the citizens have voted not to re-elect you. Any final words? This is a mere demonstration of Gödel's incompleteness theorem and Einstein's theory of personal relativity. Is that real? Nonetheless, I extend gravitational force-esque attraction to the city, where F equals G, M1, M2, slasher caret 2 defines my unending attachment to every single atom of artificial vil. Okay, he still loves you, I think, or he hates you, I'm not sure. All right, next mayor. Okay, this is the mayor we need to get things back on track. Finally! Welcome to the office, Mayor Caveman, sir. The city is in a rough position right now. We've got a volcano in the middle with some sort of powered poop moat and many windmills powered by hamsters that are providing inconsistent electricity to the city. Honestly, we've only got two people right now. They're complaining about a lack of water, a lack of consistent electricity. What needs to be done to fix this? Water good! Great big river! Fire bad! Break wind thing. What? Food need. Make berry bush. Um. Okay. Big big river. <laughs> Pog. So true. I guess I'll do it like. I was like just through finishing here. my tenth daily cup of water when suddenly my hamster was stolen. <laughs> do you know where he is? Uh. Okay. The river is now going through the town. Fire bad. Break wind thing. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're breaking the wind things. Wow. Bringing water to the people and freeing all the hamster slaves. Is there anything caveman mayor can't do? Uh. He wants berry bush. I guess that's vegetables. That's the closest I can get. These neighboring cities think they're so great with their access to water and lopsided human to hamster ratio. But let me ask them this. Did your mayor make big river? That's <laughs> what I thought. Done. Okay, sir. What next? Big cave need. Big, big hill. Night bed. Big, big fire. Of course. <laughs> big cave need. So we need a big hill. I guess I'll make it down here. I'll make like a new one. Okay. What do I do with the big hill? I guess we sent a road through it. <laughs> Okay, now we just need fire. I guess we like surround it with power plants? Okay, the hill is surrounded by coal power plants. Those should create <laughs> lots of smoke. May we ask Caveman Mayor if he has been eating hamsters around the town? <laughs> yeah, I'll ask that next time. Hey, side note, Mr. Mayor, do you know where all the hamsters went? Hamster fast, hamster hide, hunt hamster. Bring back. Okay, let's ignore that for right now. Let's do a quick re-election poll. I'm sure it's fine. Okay, after about an hour and a half, the first mayor to get re-elected is the caveman. To his credit, he has expanded the city far more than anybody else. Good news, Mr. Mayor. You've been re-elected as the city mayor. What would you like to do next? I built your big hill. Too many noise. Smash big noise out. <laughs> what? We want quiet. What does that mean? <laughs> what are the noise houses? We barely have anything. I guess maybe this is a server farm. I have to get rid of this. Um, this is a trash heap. This probably makes noise. Wait, does he mean the house where the two citizens we have live? Yes. Loud man bad. <laughs> Smash noise house. Okay. All right. We want quiet. Fine. Okay. All right. No more houses. Uh, our population is down to one citizen. And we're down to zero. Okay, Mr. Mayor, the city's very quiet now. What next? Make big old pit. <laughs> Hide it when danger. What does that mean? What is an OO pit? Uh, we'll make a big hole, I guess. This is where the Romance Airport was a long time ago. This feels like the appropriate spot. That is really, really, really deep. 
Okay. I made the hole, sir. What next? Good job. Now, <laughs> make more big old bit. <laughs> Big, big, good. <laughs> okay, okay. I just feel like we one oh oh pit was <laughs> perfectly fine to be honest. Okay, Mr. Mayor, what next? More cave, big, big <laughs> hill, more berry, big, more trees. We don't even have people to feed. He wants another hill. I'll put it over here. And that's time. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make more berries. Mr. Mayor, your time is up. Any final words for the citizens of this fine city? Eat berry, live in cave, no out. Be good, no fight. We go now. Goodbye, sir. Hey, Doug. It's me, city resident number two. I'm a little worried that we re-elected this mayor. When I met him, he dumped water on me and screamed water good. <laughs> also, he demolished my home, but I guess I can't question democracy. That's true. That's true. Okay. This is a strong foundation for our next mayor, who is... Okay, an artist. This could work. We have a nice foundation. Mr. Caveman Mayor can use my uh-oh hole whenever he wants. <laughs> Don't say that! There's sponsors watching this! There's no shame in no uh oh holes, Doug. Everyone has won, including the sponsors. <laughs> in the contract, it's specifically, I signed an NDA not to talk about their uh oh hole. Mrs. Mayor, the city right now has two entire citizens. The landscape is covered in uh oh holes. We've got a vast surveillance network and a giant volcano heart lake thing. What would you like to do first, Mrs. Mayor? Ha, it's clear that the cul-de-sac cavemen know nothing about the intricate spiraling patterns of Cicero's urban masterpieces. What? Okay, Flatten I can't out read the it. hill housing those cave homes will construct perfectly tessellating hexagonal towers instead. She said flatten inspired the cave? by Nuttall's hypohex designs. Okay. Okay, let me try to do my best here. So I'll make a hexagon of water towers. Oh yeah, I can just level it. Uh oh. Oh wait. Uh... You know what? Actually, that looks kind of artistic. As Drusilla Triptychs once said, art is never safe from democracy's it. ignorance. Demolish those tacky surveillance towers have, uh, and erect opulent Baroque-inspired observation decks so instead. Okay. Is observation tower a thing? Great. That's five minutes. Next mayor. Here we go. Get some American patriotism in here. This is gonna turn things around. Give me something good. We need to increase the population. Well, Supervisor, I think it's high time we put some American spirit in this city. Let's go. First off, let's replace every single one of them surveillance towers with statues of good old George Washington crossing <laughs> the Delaware. We are going to bring back the statue, except this time it's not Chad, it is George Washington crossing the Delaware. This is the only statue I can make. And second, build me a bald eagle preservation sanctuary right Right next to that volcano lake. I guess I can get livestock farming and it's like chickens and maybe he won't notice. All right, Mr. Mayor, we've got our bald eagle farm and the George Washington statue. What next? Well, supervisor, first things first, that observation tower ain't tall enough. It's... Double its height and top it off with a humongous cowboy hat. Okay, I can't make the observation tower itself taller, but I can make a big hill for it. <laughs> Wait, I can actually... <laughs> okay, cool. We're gonna turn that volcano into Mount Rushmore 2.0. Carve out Washington, Wait. Jefferson, Roosevelt, and Lincoln holding burgers and fireworks. <laughs> okay, I don't... And uh... lastly, right at the base, let's build the world's largest hot dog stand. Because Ben Franklin told me in a dream he wanted that. Oh, uh, okay. USA! <laughs> I USA. don't think I can do almost USA. any of these things in the time you have left. Okay, and at the base of the observation tower, the world's largest hot dog stand. What an achievement for America. Twitch chat, with these incredible developments, do you want to re-elect this mayor? All right, two-thirds of people liked him, but not quite enough. All right, our next mayor is... Daredevil. So the Daredevil just wants stunts and crazy action and to break world records. It's just what this city needs to turn it around, especially because we have zero people right now. Make him secretly a superhero. <laughs> Okay. All right, Mr. Daredevil Mayor, we got a lot of shit going on. What are you going to do to drive tourism back into the city? Ah, uh, you ever do the swooping bald eagle dive, Supervisor? I once dove off a taller observation tower into a pool filled with jello. First, let's connect those coal plants. Okay, we're connecting the power the plants. Biggest skateboard ramp on that giant mountain and make a zip line from the observation tower to George's head. Wait. And I heard villains hate skateboarding. Wink. Okay. Connect the power plants is what he said to start with, which is great. Okay, so the mountain should have a ramp down it, right? Come on. Come on, give me this. It's gonna work. Buying everything. Here we go. Done.
Mayor Daredevil, any final words on this beautiful accomplishment for the city? Election or not, they'll remember the artificial bill adrenaline rush. Uh huh. Safety is for the ordinary, but legends are born from stunts. Remember, I'll be watching from the shadows, ready to combat evil on a skateboard. Okay. Cape swoosh. Thank you, Mr. Daredevil. Okay, Hollywood producer. Okay, Mr. Mayor Hollywood, welcome to the office. We are dealing with an interesting city right now. There's an observation tower that the American Patriot built, a volcano a statue George Washington, and some observation towers and farms. What is the first thing you'd like to do to the city? First off, that volcano sounds perfect for a sci-fi film I've been planning. Okay. Lava lizards from Artificialville. Okay. Let's add a permanent film set right at the crater. Uh -oh. Baby, we're going to have pyrotechnics round the clock. Okay. Film actor mansion perfect <laughs> okay now about the observation tower on the hill slap some hollywood letters on it for a memorable skyline this is tinseltown too okay he wants the hollywood sign written on the i don't know how to do that use roads okay what if i put it out here i think he'd like that Ooh, okay that's fine Okay. <laughs> okay, that looks great. Now let's demolish half of the residential areas to make way for a massive drive-in theater where we can premiere my upcoming film, Gorillas in Tuxedos. We have like two the houses. The Ballroom Brawl featuring Oscar nominee, Stud Beefcake. Demolish half of the residential houses to make way for a movie theater. Okay, right, there you go. We're down to two people, thanks to that. Convert the remaining residential spaces into luxury villas for my precious stars to reside. They simply can't be expected to commute, darling. Okay, I changed the zone so it's better for celebrities. That went swimmingly. At this point, we've had 11 mayors serve this beautiful city, which means we are almost ready to present it to Parkser. But first... We're gonna let the citizens vote to re-elect one final mayor, and it'll be their last chance to fix any outstanding issues. Who is the final mayor? I'm seeing a lot of love for the anime weeb and esports pro mayors who didn't get a shot, but overwhelming support to bring back caveman mayor. Somebody said romantic caveman. Are you all right if, if um, the caveman has a twinge of romance? Mr. Caveman Mayor, welcome back to the office. It's been a long, fraught journey to get here. The city is thriving. We have two people. You have just a few minutes to put the final touches on this city to make it perfect for the residents. What would you like to do? Big fire scare. No life near volcano. Okay. Make big heart near water for mate. <laughs> He's so romantic. Make big heart near water for mate. So like over here? Wait, I see it. I know what the caveman mayor wants. This whole thing becomes a heart. That is so romantic. Oh, I think we're running out of water. <laughs> There's not enough water to fill the heart. That's a heart. It looks good. Caveman Mayor's gonna love it. And then he wants to live near the heart with his mate. So we'll put... <laughs> okay, Caveman Mayor will love that. It's right over Heart Lake. Okay, I've built the giant Heart Lake. Anything else you want me to do to the city? Heart good. Build cave home by heart. <laughs> Made and me dance there. Uh, okay, he wants a cave. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I've got it, I've got it. I used the water park strategy. This counts as a cave. Does that work? <laughs> this sucks. Well, somebody said we love the cave in chat, so I trust that person. Final request, Mr. Caveman Mayor. What is the last request? Add big tree. Me like climb. City done. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we're ready. And with Cave Mayor's work done, the city is complete. But the question is, what will Parkser think of it? How will it compare to the human-built city that he saw before? I think this looks great. Let's call on the big guns. <clears throat> Hello, Douglas. Douglas. Parkser, I have a city to show you. We don't have a lot of time, so I'll try to move through this quickly. First off, before I reveal what we've built today using only artificial intelligence, I want you to describe in just a few words what you thought of the city that Twitch chat built last time. Okay, Twitch chat city. In a few words, not a city. Okay, I thought maybe a couple more words. Not a city, and then after the meteor shower, what? not anything at all. What did you think about it? Did you like it? No. Okay. Now you've seen the very best of what humans can accomplish. I want to show you what Wait art. A minute. What? Hold on. Does it say that you have two residents? Parkser. Two very happy residents who are not dead, and they are they're Hollywood actors. Why do you have to clarify that they're not dead? Does this mean <laughs> that there are Let me reveal many... to you! As a city designed entirely by artificial intelligence, this is the future, Parkser! Welcome to Artificialville. Oh. Now let's kick off this tour, Parkser. As you enter the city on uh, Ivy Highway, you're gonna look to your left and see one of our uh, patented OO holes. 
The what hole? I think it's for danger. Then you're going to come to our poop mode. This is where... Oh, it's a sewage system. I think No, I think there's supposed to be a dam here. This will to generate electricity. This is a statue of George Washington, one of our Patriot mayors. That commissioned to this. literally not George Washington. It's him Washington. crossing the Delaware River. Now, one Why of our big features statue... is a volcano in the middle of a heart-shaped lake, kind of. And what's cool about the volcano is we film Hollywood movies inside of it. Now, one of the very first things that our frat bro mayor did is install a water park up on the hills, park, sir. Chad used to love partying here. Can you zoom out a little bit? Y yeah. I know what this is. It's a water park. I have been to a place like this. This, like, actually exists in real life, sort of. Which is exactly what they were shooting for. This reminds me of, of Mordor. Deadwood, Deadwood Sa South Dakota. <laughs> this is what South Dakota looks like? Deadwood is like nestled in between like mountainous things like that. I swear I am not trolling. Deadwood has a humongous hole in it. Okay. You guys actually built a real city. Thank you. And you're actually going to notice that we've doubled our population due to their love of our hole. Oh, fantastic. You have five residents now. Now, over on the right side of the city, you're going to notice a lot more OO holes, plus a couple farms where we have avocados for the hamsters that used to live here. A couple trash heaps. This is for the earthworms, I believe. Uh, where did they get their water? They... In the gigantic observation tower that you can see, sort of a hallmark for America, you can view the entire city around you, except for up on the mountain, which is even taller, as well as having the world's biggest hot dog diner at the bottom. What do you think about that? Okay, that's, uh, hold on, can, can, you, can you zoom out a little bit? Uh, the hot dog diner is great. I just- Does this look like some other corner, random? Why, why does it say Holly Wowed? It says, uh, what, um, is, what is Holly? Welcome to Hollywood, Parkster. You see, this is Tinseltown 2, where we have high profile. We have 19 people. These are all Hollywood actors who are living in our high rises buildings. Okay. We, we even, are literally trolling. We Wait, even, where are the high rises? We even all, okay, I'll get to that. We even installed some art installations with these hexagonal water towers. Very interesting. You must really like holes. No, these are art. This is art. Now, you're probably thinking, the city's cool, but where can I do some extreme stunts? Um, and for that, sure. all the city is cool, but where can I do extreme stunts? Well, let me tell you. If you go past all the observation towers, because we had a conspiracy theorist as mayor and another one of the <laughs> OO holes, you're going to go up this road. And with a very short drive, you're going to find yourself. Um, Do you say very short drive? You are going to find yourself at the top of Skate Park Mountain. And at the very top, thanks to our Daredevil Mayor, you can ride down this whole mountain on a skateboard. It's fucking rad as hell, Park Sir. Look at that. Look at that. And you can land right into one of the OO holes. That looks deadly. It looks extremely deadly. Am I right? Yes, that is literally oh, yeah. exactly what I said. Woo! By the way, what does OO stand for? It's. I think it's for danger. It's to jump into when there's danger. Oh, by the way, here's the high rises. The caveman mayor wanted them kind of in the hills. I disagree, but I guess half the building has a nice view. <laughs> There you go. I think the only thing left is to show you where our mayor lives. And that is by Heart Lake. Oh. Is there is there a drop? He and his um <laughs> were a little short on water. <laughs> Okay. That would explain why a lot of the people seem to need water around here. But that was kind of his last order is to create the Heart Lake. And he lives happally with his mate in an underground cave where they can <laughs> dance not, and frolic and enjoy the sights. The word underground means. So, Parkser, with 35 happy, bustling residents, do you think this town is better or worse than the one Twitch chat made? Now, there, there is one minor problem. It seems like there uh -huh. are no utilities connected or no utility services in general. Uh, oh, also there's a tree. There's a tree on a hill. Okay, that's not going to distract me from the fact that Anyways, final to have score, Parkster! On what metric, though? Is it better or worse than the city that Twitch chat made? Are humans Both. or robots better at government? Um... Okay, now that's a whole different conversation that we. How can is have. that different? You said you love it. There are people living here. This is not a hard question. Th that was a yes. that was a leading question. Uh, I don't even know why I even had to think this city is overwhelmingly better than the one that Twitch chat made. Let's go, AI mayors! And there you have it, folks. AI politicians are officially better than human politicians. Or at least better than Twitch chat politicians. And now we all get to look forward to living in this future utopia together. Parkser, you move in on Monday. We saved uh, you a so spot in the caveman house. Why did you build those roads there? How do you even get on those middle two roads? I think it's romantic. Wouldn't you love to dance there with your mate? What?
Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's sorry. It's time, time for one sec. It's time for ads. For ass. It's time for what? Ass. It's time for ass. <laughs>